Marriage symbolizes the sharing of two lives. This sharing must not diminish, but it must enhance the individuality of each partner. You do not shed your individuality, for that is what brought you together in the first place. Marriage is the loving declaration that you should be no other than yourself. A lasting marriage is not stagnant. <laughs> the day I met Brian, he was sitting on the end of your bed. You were taking your usual two hours to get ready. And he made a very snarky comment about how long we were waiting. And I said to him, she's well worth the wait. To which he responded, oh, I know. And I knew from that moment on that he would do absolutely everything to show you how much he adores you. When you were younger, but sit alone to see your pony to feed. What you give an inch and take some money. When you were younger. May the Lord smile upon you in all your comings and goings. In wisdom, trust, and love, may you always share more blessings than burdens, more laughter than tears, and more strength than for whatever lies ahead than you will ever need. Crystal and Brian. It's me, Margaret, Margaret Buckley. <laughs> Brian, take thee, Crystal, to be my lawfully wedded wife. I, Crystal, take thee, Brian, to be my lawfully wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forth. From this day forth. To love, honor, and cherish. For better and for worse. In joy and in sadness. For richer and for poor. In sickness and in health, so long as we both so shall, live. shall live. So Brian and I met at Bergen Catholic, freshman in high school, um, playing football. I think one thing that stands out to me a little bit more is after we scored a touchdown, Brian, as always, would come on to kick an extra point. But this time, instead of going through the uprights, I was hit by something behind me and got smacked with a football that didn't go through. So it was from that point on that I knew Brian would always have my back. <laughs> I know I felt like this before. So I want to start this toast off by thanking everybody who has come from all over the place to celebrate the love that Crystal and Brian share. In these times, it has been exceptionally clear that we need to hold our loved ones close. Brian and I were recently talking about how important our family and our friends were to each other and how much we really cherish our friendships and we have some friendships that are just as close as family, or sometimes even closer. And something that means a lot to me is that, Brian, you've always been a brother to me, and I'm really happy to have Crystal as my sister, and I love you both so much.
Before loved ones and friends, Crystal and Brian have pledged themselves to each other and have symbolized this by the giving and receivings of rings. May all your days be blessed with love and friendship. May each day and night of your lives be a new beginning. May your home be filled with laughter and warm embrace of a summer's day. May you find peacefulness and beauty, challenge and satisfaction, humor and insight, healing and renewal, love and wisdom. And now, by the power vested in me by the state of Georgia, I witness and affirm your union and love, and I now pronounce you to be husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is with great privilege and honor that I get to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Brian Crystal met Brian. Happiness started to seep into her life. It was like she was seeing everything in brighter colors. She smiled more, and we knew how much this guy meant to her. To find happiness can be very difficult. And my wife and I are both very grateful and happy that these two were able to find each other. Congratulations. Yeah. To Crystal and Brian.